Hello guys, in this video I want to share tips and tricks uh, that I learned after being a developer YouTuber and got my first 100 subscribers, yay! So first of all, thank you everyone who supported me, who subscribed and who posted comments, I really like it. And I'm going to post more videos after a vacation that I just had. So, but who is this video for? Um, it's for developers who think should or should not they start a YouTube channel. Uh, I personally had fear, like, who's going to watch my videos? There are already thousands of channel, channels out there, awesome channels. Channels like Fireship that already cover a lot of topics uh, and with really nice, nice way, short, clean, transparent, simple. Uh, but then I realized a lot of uh, beginner level videos are there, but not so many advanced level videos. So I thought like if I struggle myself to find some advanced topics uh, to, to learn about on YouTube, maybe I can post about it. So I learn stuff constantly as a developer, I'm sure you do too, and that's a life of developer, constant learning. So once you learn something, why not you share about it, especially if it is something that is not that <clears throat> easy to manage on, on uh, well, after a beginner, after to-do list uh, application is done. Many frameworks cover simple things uh, like to-do list, but more advanced topics they struggle to cover. And I thought like, well, why not I cover it? So that's how I came to this. Also, I want to post videos about how I develop my open source projects, uh, things I learn along the way, uh, fails I have. I want it to be open source, transparent, so you can repeat it. And that I think is my niche. So let me follow my plan. I have a plan here. And the uh, next thing in the plan is to share some channel stats. So what are we talking about? What have I achieved? I'd say it's average experience. Everyone can repeat that and do even better. I'll share some things that I would do differently. But here you can see the numbers. I don't want to speak them again. You can just see them clearly. First thing uh, to get from this lifetime chart of this channel is that in the beginning I posted a lot and I got a lot of views then I had a break and there were no spikes in the views but some uh, views still were there then posted a little bit more and another spike after some of shorts I believe and then I haven't posted for May because I had a vacation so first tip that I want to share here if you just want to begin your channel is just post something it can be whatever it can be short video 30 seconds video it can be longer video it can be lifetime coding whatever it is just post it keep in mind most probably it will be trash um, and that's okay that's okay you learn along the way and uh, First thing you need to move from this dead spot you are in, not posting anything, to posting something. And second tip for beginners is keep posting. Once you post first one, it's okay if it's bad. Post another one, and then another one, and then another one. And be consistent in your posting. Don't make breaks like I did here. I didn't know if I should continue posting, like, is my quality of videos a good or bad? I know if I would post something in this area, I would get much more views or many more views. So, and uh, that's okay to struggle to uh, be not completely sure if you are doing the right thing, but just keep posting and third trick will get you better third trick tip is uh, just improve with each video in each video do something a little bit different 
um, it might be some things like, and here we come to some tips, uh, buy you a microphone. I have a MacBook Air that I record this video from and most of my videos from, and it has some microphone, but it's obviously not as good as some external microphone. This one I bought for 50 bucks. I don't want to name it, it doesn't matter, just buy one that has good reviews, that's um, accessible to you, and that will be already much better than what MacBook has or any other laptop has. So second tip would be to avoid live coding um, videos. So I started with live coding, you can see it here, so I have 32 videos. And I started with explaining and coding at the same time. But since I'm not a native speaker, I struggled to keep videos engaging, keep them entertaining. I tried to write code and explain it at the same time, and I failed miserably. Uh, and if you look at the analytics of retention, this is the most important chart for your videos. It shows how many people watched till the end. For example, here it's about 10% or till some moment in time. And uh, this is the most important chart because YouTube algorithms look at this chart and they decide should they post, to post your video more or less. Um, depends on it. If more people watch it till the end, you, you might think, oh, this this is probably the interesting video and I need to post it to more people. But if less people keep it till the end, it will recommend it less. So shorter video do better in general, like YouTube shorts or 100 seconds video, two minutes video, five minutes video. Um, I'd say optimal is up to 10 minutes video. Everything that is longer than 10 minutes is worse because it's harder to keep attention of the user. Until you do something interesting or you do a lot of cuts. Um, I try to avoid cuts and just record video as is. Like here I record it right now without any cuts. I just don't want to spend time on post-processing of the video and uh, right now at this beginner stage and I want to just keep posting, keep posting. So another tip that I'd recommend is um, just grab Loom, the Loom application, I have it here. Um, that allows you to do some video recording with this nice balloon here. It's not ideal for, well, let me move myself to the center because I'm speaking, or even like that. Yeah, much better. Um, it's nice to start. Uh, it's not free, it has some subscription, 10 bucks, I think, but it does its job for beginners and uh, it's awesome, I recommend it. Uh, but I plan to replace it in the future with something more advanced, with some offline video recorder that would give me more flexibility. Like instead of just making it square, oh sorry, circle, I want to make it a square somewhere sitting in the corner, but with Loom I can't. Or maybe I just don't know how to. Uh, but it's nice for just starting. Okay, then another tip is Plan your videos ahead. So for this video, I have a plan here. Let me show you how it looks like. Uh, one sec. Okay, here it is. You can see this is not detailed plan, but it covers the most important things, uh, what I want to mention. And that's good enough, better than not having a plan at all. Uh, yeah, okay, let's continue. So next thing is... Avoid 
such delays in your speech. <laughs> well, sometimes it's not possible, but um, especially if you are not native speaker and you cannot speak fluently as you should, but try to reduce it as much as possible. Try to reduce any M mm, and other weird sounds. Uh, Post-processing of the video might help. And I also plan to do it a little bit. I think some cuts would be helpful, some animations for videos, some diagrams that I want to put into my videos that explain how different parts of application work together. And also uh, post-processing can help you balance in your audio. So right now I speak at the same distance from the microphone and I think with the same um, volume level but sometimes I can speak closer and more louder and sometimes I can sit a little bit far away or speak quieter so balancing of audio on post-processing can help uh, solve this and uh, make your viewers experience much better also I plan to add some this some hotkeys here in the corner uh, for my live coding videos so my viewers see what hotkeys I press and well I, I use a lot of hotkeys and I think it's really nice to can make your uh, coding faster so learning hotkeys is amazing um, yeah and the last tip I'd like to share is after you publish your video share it on other platforms like Reddit or Medium or Dev2 or whenever you think it will be not spam but useful content okay don't spam I hate spam myself and um, I believe it's better to post it somewhere it belongs even if you get less viewers but more of them will convert to subscribers if it's a video for them yeah so thank you for your attention I think I'll post uh, more of such videos after I get 1,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers, and so on. But, well, let's get there first. Thank you for subscribing or liking this video. I hope it was useful. And see you again. Ciao.